Hello friends, I am Sneha Gravat from Department of English, Maharaja Krishna Kumar Singh Ji, Bhavnagar University. Today we are planning to celebrate the Teacher's Day. So I would like I would like to teach a novel, The White Sargasosi by Jean Rees. So let's start with the introduction of author Jean Rees. She was born on 24 August 1890. She was British novelist, essayist, and short story writer. Her notable works are like uh, Good Morning, Midnight, and White Sargasso Sea. Her early stories and novels reflect her lifestyle. She was married three times. She never adjusts to the move from the West India to Pakistan. She had a, always a feeling of displacement that we find in her uh, characters. In her novels, she offers psychoanalytic readings, though it's an uh, exploration of the unconsciousness. She was died. 14 May in uh, 1979. Here is the picture of White Sargasso Sea by Jean Rees and uh, Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. A background of the novel. Uh, no, uh, this novel was written in 1915 and published in 1966. This was the masterpiece of the Jean Rees. Uh, this, novel, uh, this novel setting uh, is in uh, Jamaica, uh, Jamaica 1830. This is the best example of post-colonial literature. Uh, uh, this no in this novel, uh, this novel is imaginized the early life of uh, Bertha Mason from Charlotte Bronte's Jane Eyre. Uh, in this, we uh, find that time, uh, that time when women are beginning to demand a voice. In this, also we find that position, uh, position of women, black people, and other groups were discussed. In this novel, uh, this novel was reflect idea of freedom and post-war Europea uh, and also reflect the issues surrounding colonialism and slavery. Uh, this novel was response to Jane Eyre. Let's see the char characters of the novel. So first is Antoinette. She was the protagonist of the novel. After, uh, after this, Mr. Mason, first husband of Annette. Uh, third is Annette. She was the mother of Antoinette, uh, Aunt Cora. Uh, she was the rich widow in this novel. Uh, Pierre, Antoinette's younger brother. Emery, a maid of grand, grand boys. Tia, sh uh, she was the childhood friend of Antoinette. Richard Mason, son of Mr. Uh, Mason and stepbrother of Antoinette. Christophine, Antoinette's nurse. Let's see the plot of the novel. The plot, Antoinette was a cruel daughter of ex-slave uh, ex owners. She lived on a plantation called Colbury Estate with her mother and her sicky brother. The family's uh, uh, finance went in ruins after the passage of uh, uh, Emancipation Act of 1833. Throughout Antoinette's childhood, there is a hosti uh, hostility between white aerocracy and the improvised back servants. When Antoinette was 70, uh, she step, uh, her stepfather arranged her marriage with Mr. Rochester. He begins to have misgivings uh, uh, about the marriage. He knows little of his new life and he agreed to the marriage because he was desperate for, uh, for money. And in aid, Rochester receives uh, a menacing um, letter that warns of the madness that's deep rooted in Antoinette's family. Uh, after reading this, the relationship between the, uh, them deteriorate, uh, deteriorated. Antoinette tries to re uh, regain her husband's love, but she, uh, she fails. That makes Antoinette mad and violent. Uh, they uh, moved to England where he locked her in a uh, garret room in his house around, uh, under the watch of servant. Antoinette has no sense uh, of time or place. She became mad because she was uh, left alone and abandoned. She has a recurring uh, dream about going from her prison to explore the house and uh, it ablaze. The novel ends with her Antoinette walking down from her prison to act on her dream. Let's throw some light on narrative techniques. Uh, this novel divides into three parts, each of which is written as if in a different way. 
फर्स्ट पार्ट इज एंटोनेट सेकंड इज रोचेस्टर एंड थर्ड इज ग्रेस ग्रेसफुल समटाइम्स द डिफरेंट कैरेक्टर डिस्कस अ डिफरेंट इवेंट इन अ डिफरेंट वेज दिस मेक्स द रीडर क्वेश्चन द रिबिलिटी टू द अकाउंट्स Uh, here the uh, author uh, generis also uh, used the techniques of stream of consciousness that represent rochester entire life in all its complexity and ambivalence uh, the, here is the themes of novel uh, first is woman and power second is alienation and identity third is race and fourth is no, uh, love and uh, fifth is slavery and entrapment let's describe the themes uh, first is race race is absolutely integral to the way that the characters understand themselves and their place in a society some writers and uh, scholars claim that race white uh, white sergosity portrays black character as a uh, flat uh, stereotype child like uh, primitive and animalistic second theme is alienation and identity the uh, consequences of alienation become uh, both increasingly isolating as well as increasingly dire, dire as the novel progress the tensions at the start of the novel are between group like uh, as versus them uh, third theme is a slavery and ent uh, entrapment in this uh, we find that freedom can mean abandonment or uh, isolation the fear of which leads many to enter complimentarily and uh, sometimes even willingly into their own imprisonment uh, fourth theme is woman and power the female characters in a wide uh, serga soci must con uh, confront so uh, societal forces that prevent them from acting uh, uh, fundamental or and uh, suiting themselves regard uh, regardless or uh, race or class Uh, five uh, fifth theme is love for uh, in novel for rochester neither uh, uh, antonet or nor emily are worthy of uh, romantic love because of their racial status instead they are ob uh, objects to be owned and enjoy sexually thank you and happy teachers day